shaking together that that coin yielded the grains back to you. You got back, how much time, you got back a thousandfold back. Not just a hundredfold, but a thousandfold. Amen. God gave you back a thousandfold because he wants to use you as a trophy in the land. As a trophy in the land. Verse number, verse number three, it says, and he said, go borrow of vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels, borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door. Notice what said, shut the door. Shut the door. In other words, don't let everybody know what you're doing. So many times God want to do something in our life, but we want to go blabbing. We want to go, we want to make sure everybody else know it before it even comes to pass. And what's going to happen? You're going to give in, you're going to open up the door for the enemy to begin to, to come against you to stop it from coming to pass. Don't begin to blab when, when God tells you to go ahead and shut the door. That means he don't want nobody to know what you're doing. He don't want you to talk about what you're doing. He just wants you to go in and do it. Amen. Just shut the door. God has called us to a lifestyle of faith. Upon, shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons, and, sh and, shall, and, th and shall thou and shall pour out and shall pour out into those vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she, so she went from him, from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons who brought her who brought the vessels to her and she poured out and it came to pass when the vessels were full that she said unto the who she said unto her son bring me yet a vessel and she said bring me yet a yet bring me yet a vessel and he said to her there is not a vessel more and the and the oil stayed. Notice, as long as they were able, the oil poured. When the oil had nowhere to go, the oil stayed. As long as you're giving out what God has given you, God's going to keep it coming in. He's going to keep it coming in. But the moment that you hard it up and stop allowing it to go forth, God's going to cause it to dry up. Y'all understand what I'm saying? God going to cause the dry up. As long as that woman was, was pouring, it was coming out. It was coming out. But the moment she didn't have, there was nowhere, she didn't have nothing to put it no more in, it stopped coming out. It stopped coming out. God has given you a channel. He has given you a, a place to sow. He has given you a place to pour into. He has given you a place to pour into. When you, when you, as long as you're pouring into what God has assigned you, God's going to cause it to be poured back into you. You will not have lack. You will not have want. Everything that the enemy has tried to use to stop you is going to be stopped in his track because you have obeyed God. You've hearkened. You've listened. And you observed to do according to all he commanded you this day. And he said, because you have listened, because you have done, because you are doing what I commanded you, I'm going to cause you never to experience lack unless you stop pouring out of yourself into what I have commanded you. God is about to bring you to a new level in your realm of finances. But you've got to be willing to let go of what you have. You gotta be with, but Pastor, I don't have but one. I don't have but one. I don't have but but but, but fifty cents. I don't have but a dollar. Look at the woman, the widow woman. There was an offering being taken, and the people, all the other people, giving out of their abundance. This little widow woman, she gave and gave her last. She gave of her living, and the Bible said. She walked away more justified than those that gave out of her abundance. And what happened? God looked upon her with favor. Favor releases blessings in your life. You want God's favor? You learn how to obey God. You learn how to walk upright before God. You learn how to do what God has said to do. 
and you're going to find out that God is not going to hold back from you. He's going to release into your bosom what he has declared. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God's blessing is about to come upon you. Those that are obeying God. I'm telling you by the power of the living God that's on the inside of me. Your financial situation is about to change. Your financial situation is about to change. Because you're willing and obedient. God said you shall eat the good and the fat of the land. You shall eat the good and the fat of the land. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't I I can go I can go further and more on and more on and more on. But you need to experience God's supernatural power because of what God has spoken to your heart. You might be that you might be at the brook right now. You might be trying you might be you might be trying to get to that place that is called there in your life. And God has already spoken to you, but you have not yet obeyed him. That place that is called there in your life is where God has commanded the blessings for your life. To stray away from the place that is called there in your life, you're walking away from 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 this from God's blessing. From from that what God has ordained for your life. There's a place that is called there. And it's in your life. Right where God has assigned you. It's where God has commanded the blessings. There's a raven gonna come to you. I'm not talking about a I'm talking about a spiritual raven. I'm not talking about no black bird. <laughs> I'm talking about a spiritual raven. He's going to come to you. And if you obey in God, he's going to drop off a blessing. And then, as you continue to obey God, he's going to come again. This time, he's going to double the blessing. See, the first blessing was just the water. Because he continued to obey God, he got two blessings, water and food. The blessing came through the brook first. And then the obedience, because he continued to walk in obedience, the blessing came from above. The blessing that God has to come into your life is not something from earth. It's going to come from above. And God is going to release it upon you. And you're going to experience the goodness of the Lord like you never have before. Thus said the Lord, hearken unto my voice. Hear what I speak unto your hearts this day. For I speak not to your intellect. I speak not to your human nature. I speak to your spirit. That part which is just like me. Hear my word, said the Lord. Honor me and I shall bring you to a place of great stability. You will see me moving in many splendid ways in your life like never before and I will bring peace to that troubled waters that is rising up that is raging against you and your household for I am the Lord thy God honor me with confidence and watch me move as I have spoken said the Lord Hallelujah. Do y'all feel the spirit of God in this place this morning? God is dealing with our hearts. He's not talking to our heads. He's talking to our spirit man. God is going to do something miraculously in your life. A supernatural release is about to come forth. There's a supernatural force that God is releasing in the church that's going to bring you into a place like you've never experienced in the house of God. It's not by might and it's not by power, but it's by my spirit, said the Lord. As you honor me and as you walk up right before me, yes, you will experience this supernatural release for I will cause it to come upon thee. And you will know that it is me. For I am the Lord 
your God. And I will undergird thee by the right hand of my righteousness, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, that's all I got today. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. God, I thank you for this message today. It was not something, Father, that I chose, but so I, Lord, it's something that you chose. Because what I chose is totally different. But what you chose, it spoke directly to our hearts and not our heads. We believe your word, Father, and we believe that it will not return void, but it will accomplish that what pleases you. Father, I am confident that you're about to do something, that you are doing something in the spiritual realm right now. Not about to, but that you are doing something right now in the spiritual realm over the children that are honoring you and obeying you. Father, I see a strong release right now. A strong release right now of provision. Provision that is coming into their lives. What the enemy has meant to destroy your people, God, because they honor you and obey you, you're going to cause them to flourish right where they at. And that same enemy that came against them is going to be put to shame because they obeyed you. You're going to rise up. You're going to cause them to rise. You go, Father, you're going to cause them to rise up above their enemy and above the storms of life. And you're going to cause them to be seen of you above all others. I bless your people. I thank you, Father, for what you're doing in their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. It's time we'll take my morning off. Hallelujah. Y'all get anything out of this today? Y'all so quiet out there. <laughs> Amen. The Bible says, given and shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. With the same measure that you meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. He that sows sparingly shall also be sparingly. He that sows bountifully shall also be bountifully. This is the area that God was referring to in this message. God said the enemy will stop you from sowing seed so he can stop your blessings. God says, sow your seed and be blessed. His blessing will run you down and overtake you. Today is the first of June, first Sunday. That means we have communion tonight. And I want to make sure, you know, let everyone know the communion service tonight. I'm inviting you all to Make sure that you be here if any way possible for this communion service. We are coming. We we're right at we're right at the halfway mark of the year, friend. I'm believing God for 100 people by the end of this year. 100 people by the end of this year. It's in my spirit. It's in my spirit now, and I'm speaking it forth every chance I get. I'm praying about it all every day. It's in my spirit. I'm believing God for 100 people to be in this church by the end of this year. God has point, he has pointed me to another building. And once we get 100 people, then we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna be pushing toward getting our own building. Amen. Our own building. With our own parking lot. Won't have to be disturbed when we're walking into our church. Amen. 
but God is going to do something very powerful in this ministry. And, I, and as you walk in obedience, as you humble yourself and just hear what the Spirit of God is saying, you're going to experience overflow. Supernatural overflow is coming in your life. I'm telling you now, supernatural overflow is coming in your life. Amen. I like the testimony that uh, that I heard the other day, a Wednesday night. And uh, it's, still, it's still ringing in my spirit. God is, we may be, a, we may be small, but we serve a big God. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless this tithe. We bless this offering right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Father, Lord, that you would touch and minister to the hearts of your people. Father, this word that was spoken today was totally orchestrated by you, Lord. I know in my heart that you spoke to my heart this morning as I stood up here. You put this message in my heart for your people today. Because, God, you want to do something in their lives so much like they've never experienced before. And, God, this is the way you want to do it. It's through the seed sowing. Father, we plant this seed today in rich, fertile ground. And as we plant this seed, we thank you, Father, for the manifold return. Some 30, some 60, some 100 fold. Father, I release my faith right now that every person who have act in an act of obedience from their hearts, God, that they're going to experience a supernatural outpouring in their lives. In Jesus' name, I bless your people now. Amen and amen. You that are viewing by the Internet, go ahead. You that are viewing by the Internet, you want to get in on this offering today, I'm telling you, this is not a message that I had ordained myself to speak. This is a message that God ordained for me to speak this morning because my lesson is still at home on my desk in my office that I was going to preach this morning. But God changed that because we are living a lifestyle of faith and God is calling us to a deeper walk and have confidence in him to get the message forth that the people need to hear, not what we want them to hear. And I believe that what happened today. God brought the message forth that he wanted the people to hear and not what I wanted them to hear. And so when we hear what the Spirit of God is saying and honor him and walk in obedience, God wants to do something powerful in your life. Now, you might want to get in on this ties and you might want to get in on this offering today. Go to my website, LarryBurkinMinistries.com and there you can plant your seed into the ministry. God bless you as you do so. Now, Father, I thank you for this time together. I thank you for your word to have gone forth. I thank you, Father, that people's hearts is being prepared, repaired, and prepared to come to acknowledge you as Lord and Savior of their lives. Father, I bless your people now, and I thank you for what you're about to do because of their humble spirit in Jesus' name. I don't know your hearts, but God knows your hearts, and he knows whether or not you are living right he knows whether or not you are not living right. If you are living right, I'm not talking to you, but if you're not living right, then God is talking to you. If you're, living, if you're not living right, you want to get things right with God, I want you to get up right now and come up here. I'm going to pray for you right now. God is going to change your heart. If you're not living right, you want to repent, ask God to, to forgive you of your sins. You want to make sure that your heart is right with God. I want to pray for you right now. Amen. You've never been born again. You want to be born again. This is what I'm asking you right now. Come right now. I'm going to pray for you. Everybody here born again? Maybe you're not living right. Maybe you are lukewarm and you, you're struggling to live right. And God wants to restore. He wants to give you strength. Come on up. I'm pray for you right now. Anyone else? Anyone else? We have one walking in obedience. One knows the, the need of, of the Lord in the heart. Amen. Anyone else want to join this one right now? Amen. For rededication. Rededication. 
restricting our walk with God. Amen. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I thank you that as she have come in obedience, God, I pray for her right now. And I lay my hand upon her, and I declare and decree, let your kingdom begin to move in a supernatural way in her life, destroying every work of darkness that is working against her mind, her emotions, and her will. Father, I ask you for a supernatural change in her innermost being. Let her be set free in every area of her life that she will serve you with a true heart. I bless her, and I thank you for it now. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Anyone else? You want to make sure that God... Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for Lydia. I thank you, Lord God, that your hand continue to rest upon her. Father, is there anything in her life that she should not be allowing in her life? Father, I ask that it be moved now in Jesus' name. And I pray, Father, for a life of faith to rise up within her. I pray, Father, that she have an understanding of what's going on, of what's being said in these services, Lord God. I pray and I release my faith for that right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, for those that have a special prayer request, I will pray for you right now. Special prayer request, I will pray for you right now. Hallelujah. Your throat. Ah. I see now, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I command bronchitis, go in Jesus' name. You will not torment this child of God. Now I command you to go. You see how my voice cleared up that fast? Just that fast. I knew that God want to touch someone. And that spirit tried to jump. And now it's gone. It's gone. It's gone in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it, Father. Thank you for it, Father. Spirit of bronchitis, go! And torment this child of God no more. In Jesus' name. And I thank you for it. Thank you for it. Amen, amen. That other one didn't come through yet? And they still mess with him on this one? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Father, for her husband, Matt. As she's standing in the gap for her husband, Lord, I pray, Father, that you would do a supernatural work, Father, because of their obedience to you. God, you're going to move in a supernatural way on Matt's behalf. You're going to cause him, Father, to have regular work hours. Father, you're going to cause him to have a better paying job. You're going to cause him, Father, to have everything that he desires on this work. And God, I released my faith for this now, and I called the angels to go to work on his behalf right now in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you. I bless this family. I bless them, Father, and I command every curse to be moved from their life now in Jesus' name because of their walking in obedience to you. I bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's amazing. Amazing. That devil. Now my voice has cleared up all of a sudden. My God. Amen, amen, amen. Well, don't y'all forget tonight. We have communion tonight. And uh, bring someone with you tonight. Just invite some of, the, some of your friends that normally would be here that's not here, invite them to come and, and uh, join us for communion. And, uh, and also, don't forget to pray for us. God is doing something right now, and there's a, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a, a change, a great change that is taking place in this ministry. A 
I guess all of you all experienced that. But things is about to begin to turn. Things that they've, they've already turned. Now, now God finna start bringing it back around again. Where we about to experience uh, the presence and the, and and the power of God like we've never experienced before. I I'm telling you, God is getting ready to do something in your lives as well, because you have not allowed the enemy to turn you away because you have stuck with it. See, the devil, he comes in, in very subtle ways. And he comes in a church when, when the presence of God and the unknown of God is in a church, especially at a young church, they come in and try to stop the growth and to stop the people from coming. Well, the enemy that was doing that is no longer here. Now, God is turning things around. And God is going to do something very powerful in this little church. It's little right now, but it's going to be big after a while. Because God has spoken to my heart, and I believe things are turning around. Amen. Father, we thank you for your time today. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Lord God, that all things do work together for good to them that love you, Father, and to those who are called according to your purpose. I bless your people now, Father, and I thank you, Lord God, that your word will not return void that you've spoken to their life today, but it will cause them to rise up above the storms of life and the circumstances. And you, Lord God, will be glorified because we decide to do it your way and not man's way we bless your people we thank you for them now in Jesus name amen amen yes sure bring them up amen well we are we, well, let's all we're going to after I pray for them we're going to go ahead and dismiss well, I can dismiss now. I can still pray for them. Father, I just thank you for this service today. I dismiss these people. I thank you, Father, for the night. Let us all stand up. I dismiss these people. I thank you for them, and they will come back tonight, Father, expecting to receive and to hear from you by the power of God in Jesus' name. Amen. We dismiss. Amen. Bring them on. Let's pray for them. Come on, Lita. Stop acting up, little baby girl. Come on. Get it, Papa. Right now, you're going to take your cap off, and I'm going to pray for you. That's all right. He don't know no better. Come on, baby girl. Let me pray for you, too. Come on. She's shy, huh? Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for these children.